we want to order the following fractions from least to greatest. It's difficult to order fractions when the denominators are different. So one way to help us order these fractions would be to rewrite them so that they all have the same denominator. So the first step is to determine if we have denominators of 15, 10, 6, 3, and 2, what we could use for a common denominator. Now it'd be nice if we could find the least common denominator, but any common denominator would do. So we're looking for a number, or hopefully the smallest number, that would be a multiple of 15, 10, 6, 3, and 2. And the least common multiple, or least common denominator, would be 30. So we're going to rewrite each of these fractions with the denominator of 30, and that'll help us order these from least to greatest. So multiply this first fraction by 2 over 2, Notice we have a 30 in the denominator. We'll multiply the second fraction by 3 over 3. We'll multiply the second fraction by 5 over 5. Third fraction by 10 over 10. And the fourth fraction by 15 over 15. So here we'll have 8 thirtieths. Here we'll have 21 thirtieths. Here we'll have 25 thirtieths. Here we'll have 20 thirtieths. And here we'll have 15 thirtieths. So we can see the smallest fraction would be 8 thirtieths. The next largest fraction would be 15 thirtieths. The next largest would be 20 thirtieths. The next would be 21 thirtieths. And the largest fraction would be 5 thirtieths. But to give our final answer, we want to write the fractions in the original form. So the smallest was 8 thirtieths, which is 4 fifteenths. The next smallest was 15 thirtieth, which is equal to 1 half. Next we had 20 thirtieth, which was 2 thirds. Next we had 21 thirtieth, which was 7 tenths. And then the largest fraction was 25 thirtieths, which was equal to 5 sixths. So it is important that we list these fractions from least to greatest in their original form, rather than the equivalent fractions with the common denominators.